Hi yogis, today we're gonna do a 30 minute grounding all levels yoga class for Earth Day to connect to the Earth, to Mother Earth, to Pachamama. Thank you for joining me today, let's get started. Hello everybody, la la la, it's Earth Day. Let's start our Earth Day yoga class grounding, earthing sequence. We're gonna start in a standing position Feet can be a little bit wide, like hips distance, not too big, not too narrow. Our feet are on the floor, our hands are by our sides, palms facing forward. Close your eyes and let's begin this standing meditation. Just feeling the ground beneath your feet, feeling the energy radiate up through your feet into your whole body. Connecting to your breath. Feeling the ribs expand and contract back to center. Breathing just like everything in this earth does. You may not be able to fully see it or feel it, but everything that's alive on this earth, plants, humans, energy, they all have this prana running through them, this vital life force, this energy just flowing through it, keeping it alive, keeping it vibrant. So just take this moment to feel rooted in your feet, connecting to any plant of choice, a tree, a flower, bush, whatever comes to mind, just connecting to that. Thinking of colors, brown and green, blue, very earthy, naturey colors that connect you to the earth and to the planet. Let's add some toe movements here to really activate our feet and our roots. Just moving around the toes in whatever comfortable way comes to you. Lifting the little toes, lifting the big toe, rolling around on the soles of your feet. Just really connecting your roots to the ground beneath you. Feeling your balance move around as you move around with your toes. Let's inhale and lift our toes as much as possible, grounding in the ball of your foot and the heel of your foot. Lifting all the toes, keep lifting, spreading all the toes apart. Take a deep breath here. And on your exhale, slowly lower the toes back down towards the ground, gluing them down, feeling super rooted through your feet, connected to the ground completely. Let's bring our hands to heart center, coming into Anjali Mudra. Anjali can translate from Sanskrit to English, meaning offering, So when we do this offering mudra, we're offering peace and love and respect and compassion to anything in front of us, to your practice today, to the earth that contains us, that preserves us, that gives us so much in return, more than we can ever imagine, really. The ground beneath us, the wood that builds our homes and shelters, the nature that helps us breathe deeply, beautiful oxygen in our lungs. And the list goes on. So just close your eyes, bringing your hands to center in this prayer position, namaste position, offering your love and peace to the world.
One more deep breath here. From here, we'll inhale, the hands will come up. Exhale, back down, hands to heart center, completing this movement of energy through the hands and through the body. One more time, inhale through the nose. Hands come up, opening the heart forward, lots of space in the lungs for deep breath. Exhale, hands back to heart center. Let's do one more, because it's so nice. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. I'd like us to come to the top of the mat. We'll do one round of sun salutations and one round of moon salutations, giving our respect and love to the sun and moon, providing us with light and energy through our days and to the earth. Inhale, the hands will come up, starting with sun salutations. Exhale, come down towards the ground, rooting in your feet, head to knees. Inhale, look forward, long spine here, bend the knees if needed. Hold the breath, hands come down towards the ground, walk back to your plank, and exhale down into chaturanga, bringing the elbows close to the body. You can come down to your belly as well, feeling grounded here as well. Inhale, push off the hands, up dog, legs are lifted off the ground, heart forward. Exhale, coming back to your downward dog, your first downward dog of the day. So let's take a moment here, just walking out the feet, feeling rooted also in your hands now. Before our base was just our feet, but now we have feet and hands to root even more into the ground here. So use your hands and your feet to just move around this beautiful energy in your body of rooting through the feet and hands. You can really feel it. Your hands and feet are taking energy from the ground beneath you and flowing it through this position of your body, this inverted V pose. Just feeling the energy move from your hands to your feet into the ground and back into your body. Look forward. Let's step, step, big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift. Look forward, long spine. Exhale, forward fold, head to knee. Inhale, rise up. Look up towards your fingertips. Feel strong and rooted in your feet. Exhale, samastiti rest. Beautiful. Let's inhale, the hands will come up. Exhale to the ground, forward fold. Let's bring the left leg all the way back, coming into a low lunge here. And inhale, look up. Come back into a plank as you hold your breath and exhale, lower down to the ground, either in a chaturanga or just lowering the belly towards the ground. Inhale, cobra pose, now keeping the legs on the ground. Exhale, downward dog. Again, meeting in this pose here, feeling our hands and feet rooted into the ground. Feel free to add movement today. Nothing has to feel stiff. Just connecting to nature in any way that feels good to you. And if that means moving with the breeze, just like the trees do, that's okay. Look forward. Let's bring the left leg forward this time. Coming into a lunge on the opposite leg. Inhale, look up all the way. Open your heart and throat forward. Inhale. Exhale, big toe to big toe, forward fold. Inhale, come up all the way, look up towards your fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center, samastiti. Let's meet in the center of our mats, taking a moment to close our eyes, embracing the energy of the sun and the moon that surround us every day, morning and evening, giving us lots of beautiful energy. <sighs> Let's open the feet hips distance, about five centimeters, not outer hip, but inner hip. And inhale, the hands will come up, interlace the fingers and invert them. It should be a bit strong here, hugging the head, but the head is neutral, coming into palm tree pose. Inhale, come onto your tippy toes. 
and try to root through your toes now. It can feel a little bit more unstable, a little bit more difficult, but still rooting, pressing into your toes like we did in that standing meditation, really activating every single toe pressing into the ground. Exhale, lower back down towards the ground. Straighten those arms again. Inhale, deeply long spine. Exhale, let's bend towards the right, coming to a side bend as much as possible without curling forward towards the ground. We don't want to collapse here. The heart should face forward and look towards the left, beyond your left arm. Three deep breaths here. Inhale back to center, long spine. Exhale, other side, look towards the right, beyond your right arm, making sure the heart is forward, not facing the ground. Inhale back to center. Exhale, let's slowly move back into a back bend here, opening the heart forward, throat forward, neck opening all the front side of your body here. Look up towards your fingertips. Three deep breaths here in this little back bend. It doesn't have to be too deep. And exhale. Slowly bring the hands down by your side. They should feel like feathers, very light and fluttery. From here, we'll come into tree pose, lifting the right leg and grounding in the left foot. So before we lift the right leg, I'd really like you to just push on that left leg and feel like you're rooting those, the toes and the four points of your feet into the ground, feeling stable like a tree. It's called tree pose for a reason, right? <laughs> So our left foot is grounded and we're bringing the right leg up either to the inner thigh, to the shin, or to the floor um, and pushing against the ankle, but don't go against the knee because we want to push here to activate the leg so they don't slip. And we don't want to push on the knee. The knee does not bend that way. So let's either choose one of those three options. You can also do this by a wall. Make sure the knee is open as much as possible without turning the upper body towards the bent knee. Upper body should face forward. Bring the hands to heart center for a moment just to gather your balance here. Looking towards a point on the ground or on the wall in front of you that's helping you balance. Really pressing into your left foot, feeling extremely stable. From here, we'll take our hands to our sides and come into the earth mudra, bringing the thumb to the ring finger, pressing the end of your thumb to the end of your ring finger. It should look like this. This is the earth mudra. And inhale, the hands will slowly come up, connecting to that earth mudra, to this tree pose on this beautiful earth day. Giving our energy and love back to the earth. One more deep breath. Inhale, lengthen in the spine a little bit more. Exhale, slowly lower the hands. And then slowly lower the leg. Let's change sides. So first we want to really ground in that right leg like we did with the other side. Pushing on the thigh here. Just feeling the whole foot being rooted into the ground, feeling stable and strong. And then we'll bring our left leg to whatever variation is good for you. You can also do a different variation than the one you did on the other side. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. And we'll meet with the hands at heart center just so we know we're all balanced here, working on our one-pointed focus, our drishti. And then we'll take our hands to our sides. Activate the earth mudra here with our hands. Connecting the thumb and the ring finger and inhale the hands will slowly come up. Activating this earthly posture. Breathing deeply. 
Pressing through your whole standing foot, feeling stable and strong. Inhale, lengthen in the spine a little bit more. Exhale, slowly lower the hands. Slowly lower the leg. And just shake out the legs for a little. Shake out your branches. Shake off those leaves, you know. Coming towards the top of your mat again. Inhale, the hands will come up. Exhale, hands back down towards the ground. And walk the feet back towards the down dog. Taking a moment here in our down dogs again. Feeling free to move around as needed or being stable, whatever feels best for you today. I'm gonna inhale the left leg up towards the sky and bring it in between our hands. Drop that right heel onto the ground and windmill the hands up coming into warrior two. The left knee should be above the ankle if it's not, adjust your legs as needed. Make sure it's not going beyond the ankle. The back leg should be facing out and the upper body should be in the center. You shouldn't be leaning forward or back or turning with the spine or facing forward in the same direction as our right back leg. Hands come up shoulder height and turn the head towards the left hand. Making sure you're still active in the core here. Knee is still above the ankle and not coming into a, a bend towards the center. We really want to protect that knee. And feel strong in this posture. All the energy coming through your feet and then being released from your fingers back to the earth. Let's take five deep breaths here in our warrior two. Slowly windmill the hands back down towards the ground to your left foot. Turn onto your toes on the right foot. Swing that left leg behind you into your one-legged dog. And back down to your regular dog. Gonna switch sides now, lifting in the right leg. And bring it in between your hands. Drop that left heel now and turn the toes outwards. Windmill the hands up as you inhale. And exhale, sit into your warrior two. Again, checking your alignment here that the right knee is above the right ankle. And your upper body and spine are straight and centered. Just the head is looking towards the right, towards your fingertips. Active fingers here, spreading all the fingers, feeling the energy coming in through your feet, up your body, and out of your fingers. Five deep breaths, just like we did before. Make sure to check your front knee that it's not turning inward. Hands stay up. And windmill the hands down. Back down towards the ground. Swing that right leg back up to a one-legged down dog and exhale back into your regular down dog. Walking out the feet a bit for a moment, shaking out the hips, feeling grounded in the hands and feet. From our downward dog, we'll slowly bend the knees to the ground, coming to our tabletop. Just take a moment here. Now we're grounding in the hands, knees, and feet. So we have even more to ground with. Let's enter a cat-cow movement here. Inhaling the head up, belly towards the ground. Exhale, head down, spine towards the sky. Doing a couple more at your own pace. Whatever feels comfortable for you right now. You really want to work on stretching and strengthening the mobility of your spine. Carrying all those neural receptors from your body to your brain. Every time your foot touches the ground, 
your spine takes that and sends it all the way to your brain, feeling grounded, feeling earthy. Every time you interact with nature, the spine recepts that and sends it to the brain. We really want to take care of our spines here, take care of our senses and our neural receptors. Here we'll move the hip back slowly, coming into a wide angled child's pose. So you can widen the knees a bit, it doesn't have to be super wide. We just want enough space here so that when we lower down to the ground, our belly comes beneath our legs. And we can go even lower towards the ground in our child's pose. You can rest your forehead here on the ground. <laughs> Activating your third eye chakra. Connecting to your earthly, intuitive wisdom. Feel every breath you take from your belly in between your thighs. Hands can be forward or back, whatever's more comfortable for you right now. We'll be here for a moment, so just really get comfortable in your child's pose, bowing down to Mother Earth, Pachamama, giving our respect and love to her, to everything she gives us and provides for us. deeply through the nose, feeling safe, putting all your weight and energy into the ground beneath you. A couple more deep breaths here. Try to breathe as deep as possible, really filling in this whole crevice here in between your thighs with your belly and your ribs expanding. and compression of the body. In Sanskrit, this pose is called Supta Bhavan Muktasana, in English, wind release pose. Feel your spine connection with the ground. Feel safe in this compact position. Slowly release the head back down towards the ground. Releasing the legs back down towards the ground. Let's just windshield wipe the legs for a second. 
right and left before we go into our final posture of Shavasana. Probably the most grounding and earthing posture I could ever think of with our entire bodies on the ground. So let's slowly move into that position. Legs on the ground, maybe as wide as your mat or wider. Hands by your hips, palms facing up as a symbol of offering, of opening and receiving energy from you to the universe, to the earth. Just close your eyes. Feel every point on your body that's connected to the ground beneath you, starting with the heels. And slowly moving up, really scanning every point of connection to the ground. providing it with darkness for a moment. We'll add circular motions with the eyeballs in one direction. So you can start on the right. And circle to the left. Even the eyes need to exercise. They work so hard to see everything in the earth, our surroundings. I feel so blessed to be able to see all that nature giving a little bit of love back to our eyes. And slowly release the hands in front of you. Look into your palms, your own palms, showing you the lines of your life, past, present, and future. Everything you do starts from your hands. Bring your hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you 
for practicing with me today. I hope you feel grounded and connected to the earth on this beautiful earth day. Thank you. That was a beautiful class. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and please like and subscribe if you like this class and my content. Thank you. Bye.